Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How Radiation Works. Okay, so just to define it, radiation, this is a very general definition, but it's basically energy that's moving. And so it always has a source, and it can move either through space or through a substance. Uh, and so at this broad definition, we realize that radiation actually includes things like light, heat, and sound. So this, uh, these are three real types of radiation, but usually when we think of radiation, we think of things that are radioactive um, or things like you know, nuclear power plants or submarines or the atomic bomb. And so that's a different type of radiation. It's again, energy that's moving, uh, but let's take a case of uranium, which is a really common radioactive atom. And so I'm just gonna draw its nucleus and it's really big. It has a bunch of um, protons and neutrons. And so actually uranium, a, uh, a radioactive version is 238, 92, uranium, so this is its atomic number, 92. This is its mass number, so it's number of protons plus neutrons. So you can see it has a ton of neutrons. And when it undergoes alpha decay, it makes uh, an alpha particle, which is just the same thing as the helium nucleus. Uh, and what's left over is a new still big, but slightly less big atom that has two thirty four and ninety for its mass number and atomic number respectively. So this happens spontaneously because uranium two hundred thirty eight is just unstable. And it actually happens at a very specific half life. It's a lot of radioactive decay has specific timelines of how likely a specific uh, group of atoms is to decay and how long that takes. So radiation can be something that's very common and you've heard of a lot, like light, heat, or sound, or it can be this kind of, uh, this energy producing that we would harness the energy uh, decay of uranium atoms or other uh, radioactive atoms. I'm Robin Higgins and this is How Does Radiation Work? Mm -hmm.